Hey everyone, I am joined by the stars and director of Marvel Studios, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Hey everyone. All right, let's get started. So what is important to your characters at the beginning of the film? When we're introduced to the adult version of, of Shang-Chi in the movie, first of all, he's going by Sean. He's uh, parking cars at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco along with his best friend Katie. There's a sense that he's kind of like a little directionless in life. Shang-Chi is a, a young man who has been running from the pain that he really doesn't want to deal with. And I think he hides it and covers it up with his charm and humor. In the end of our first act of our movie, all of that kind of gets exposed. Well, the beginning of the film, I think, I think the good times are very important to Katie, but I think that, you know, that's telling of something a little bit deeper, which is that she doesn't really know what she's supposed to be doing right now. Xiaoling, she is so complex. She has the tough and uh, unapproachable exterior, but she also has the sensitive and vulnerable part inside of her. She's like a flower which can survive the coldest winter. To accomplish the mission that his leader and also stepfather Ben Vu gave him. So everything that he does is to try to prove himself to him and make him proud. Well, uh, this might be tough, but if you had to describe your character in one word, what would it be? Oh, Self-discovery. Blind trust. Ooh, heartfelt. Ah, oh, very good answers. Now, there is some amazing action in this film, so what was your favorite stunt to film? One of my favorite stunts that I did was like falling backwards off a pole. It felt like a ride, like one of those slingshot rides where like a, well, hopefully a bird doesn't come. Towards the end of the bus sequence, there's a scene where Shang-Chi is basically on my back, pushing with his feet on the wall, pushing me down. That whole sequence, I mean, he was actually, Simu, Simu was actually on my back. Ooh, <laughs> my favorite stun memory. The very first fight scene I did with Simu. I did punch him in the face. That's why I love it. <laughs> I didn't have any martial arts background. And even though we practiced for a thousand times, I was still nervous. But Simu, he encouraged me and he said, it's okay, it's fine, just go for it. You can't hurt me. So, well, I just got into my character and I just punched him in the face and the audience can see it in the film, really. It was an accident. I did mean to, but it felt good. Well, hey, for me, commitment, that's what counts, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> and now listen, there are so many incredible moments in this film, but what are you most excited for fans to see? The action in this movie is really unique. There's action sequences that you can describe as beautiful and elegant and emotional. And those are adjectives I typically am not able to use to describe an action movie. I'm most excited for them to, uh, first of all, have fun in, in, in back in the theater and also to see things that maybe they recognize in their own selves or their own lives. And if they don't, it's a cool glimpse of this other world. I'm so excited for fans to be able to see our incredible action sequences. We've got so, so many in this movie. And the way I think of it, it's almost like an album and it's a good band. So not every song sounds exactly the same. You know, some are really fast paced and frenetic and chaotic and some are very slow and some are almost like love songs in a way. And I just think it, it all blends together in this perfect experience. And hopefully that's what audiences will get when they, when they watch our movie. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. It was an absolute pleasure. And all of you out there, don't miss Marvel Studios' Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings in theaters September 3rd.